Hello, my name is Jam Demerjolo, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to run a store procedure that's residing on premise using Azure Data Factory. By default, it is not supported or it's not documented, but it is supported behind the scenes, and I'm going to show you how it looks like. So, as usual, I'll go through the components. There are three components, three main components. The first component is the data table procedure blob. This is the table or this is the blob that we are going to use it as a, um, as a parameter. And here is that um, blob's entry. Um, we are going to take these values and treat them as uh, table valued parameters for a store procedure that's residing on the, um, on the SQL side, on prem SQL side. So I'm going to close this one and let's go back. The second component is the pipeline. The pipeline is going to be a copy activity. And the last but not least is an on-premise SQL database um, table. It looks like a table, but it is not, and I need to go through that one as well. So let's go through the code, and then we will run the, uh, run the whole end-to-end -end pipeline. So let's start with the, with the first the table, how it looks like. In the Azure um, data, um, data Table Procedure Blob, we define the structure, which is not really used, but I just define it. If you want, you can put whatever you want to do, and you can ignore it, um, I think. And then you define your location, which is Azure Blob Location. The, the blob's name, in this case, Procedure Blob. And you need to define the, the folder path, which is the container's name. And uh, most importantly, you need to say, okay, what's the format? It's text format, it's comma delimited, and uh, carriage return is the row delimiter. And you define also the link service name to access to this particular blob, which is HR blob store link service. So this is the, the, um, the table valued parameter side of the business. Now I'm going to show you the, uh, the other end, which is the, the data table side. This is the SQL side. So here I define the name data table SQL, and you can see the same name over here. And then I define the type of this particular uh, location, which is, um, which is on premise SQL server table location. Here's the tricky part begins. Um, even though I say table name equals marketing, it is not actually a table name. I will tell you pretty soon what it is, but just keep this in mind. This is not an actual table name. This is the the the, the name of the table valued parameter that's going to be used. Last but not least, our uh, link service name is also defined over here. Now let's take a look at the pipeline. This guy in the middle. Um, the pipeline is here. We define the name of the pipeline. Here is the, uh, the short description, and again, the activity is the name. And the activity type is the copy activity. The input is going to be data table procedure blob, and the output is going to be data table SQL. These two guys are going to be our, uh, our inputs and outputs. This one is going to be the input, this one is going to be our output, which I just showed. The, the source which is this guy over here, the input, is going to be the blob source. The sync, I'm right here, which is this guy over here, it is going to be a SQL sync. So which means it is going to insert to a SQL, um, on-prem SQL server. Now, these two parameters are really interesting because they used to be not there. You used to just say SQL sync and was just copying this particular directory into this uh, particular table. Now, if you define these two parameters, which is SQL writer data table type, um, you define the type of the, the parameter. Um, it can be workhars, uh, it can be anything you want, uh, it can be an integer, but for this demonstration, I am using, like, this is the name of the parameter. And this is the type of the parameter, marketing type. Um, and I'm defining a user-defined data type. Uh, last but not least, the most important part is you define the store procedure that you, uh, you need to run inside of the pipeline. 
uh, with this attribute SQL writer store procedure name and I have SP marketing let's take a look at the um, the SQL side of the business and then we can go forward so the first thing I want to show you is the procedure SP marketing it is accepting a parameter called uh, at marketing and this marketing parameter is actually um, the type of those marketing parameters marketing type and it's read only and what do we do with this particular marketing type parameter is we select it from uh, from it and then we insert it into the marketing table and there are three columns that we insert to. one of them is the profile the other one is the state the, the last one is the, the entry date here that's the, the insert operation we do a select insert type of operation now let's talk about uh, this this particular marketing type and how do we define it it's right here the definition is right here we create a type um, it's, a, uh, it's a complex user defined data type and it is a table and the definition of the table the table is profile ID which is a work card 256 a state again work card 256 that's about it so we define our data type and we are calling that data type over here using that data type over here and here's our marketing table so I created the marketing table it has got profile ID it has got the state it has got entry dates and we can see all the records and here let's see how many records do I have I have about 36 different records so let's truncate this table and I am going to try to run it and see if I can run this thing I'm going to double click on this here we go and double click on this slicer and I'm going to run it it's right now pending execution and it is going to take about 60 seconds but I believe it's going to be ready even before that so we'll just keep on as you can see I don't have any data at this point but pretty soon we will have the data um, let's go through the components again while it is cooking so um, here is my uh, data table procedure blob which is used as the user defined data table um, procedure blob is the blob's name this is the containers name this is how it is defined here is my output um, SQL side, the on-prem SQL side, on-prem SQL server data table location. That's the type of the um, the output that we are using right now. Instead of the table name, I use marketing, which is the uh, the name of the parameter that we are going to be populating, and then we define the link source. Finally, we have the the pipeline over here and the most important thing in the pipeline is the fact that we define SQL sync and we add two more attributes the first attribute is the type of the parameter that we are sending and the second attribute is the name of the store procedure that we are executing so those are the two things that uh, you need to keep in mind now let's take a look and see ah, here we go I just inserted the records and it is 339 and uh, about a minute ago the insert was successful and we were able to get the data and even though it's, it says it's, uh, it's in progress it's actually done so that's about it for today if you guys have any questions or comments let me know you can write a comment to this video or you can reach me at cemd at abacusdms.com thank you bye bye